morning and welcome to the Slow Foods Kitchen channel where today we're going to talk about oat milk and chocolate pudding. Isn't that awesome? So we made this wonderful chocolate pudding made from avocados, a blend of chocolates, maple syrup, cinnamon, touch of sea salt, put it in a blender and it's X. Well, oh, also it has oat milk, which is why we're here today. We're going to taste oat milk and talk about these two brands. We have Chobani's oat milk and we have Silk Oya oh yeah, oat milk. The difference being this one has no added sugars and this one has seven grams of added sugar, but on the label it's kind of hidden in the terms uh, fruit extract blend. It doesn't actually say sugar, so it's, they're adding sugar with some kind of a fruit blend, but they don't tell us exactly what it is. But this is the milk I use to make the wonderful chocolate pudding. So let's do a taste test and find out the extra creamy, which I buy because I like to use one milk for everything. So I can use it in my coffee as a creamer. And uh, I like a little bit of natural sugar, but I'd like to know where it comes from. So Ch Chobani, you need to let us know where you're getting that sugar, more than just the words. So, made a mess. Mm. That's why I do good. So uh, on the pour, I would say this one came out a little thicker. It's darker. This one is uh, a little wider color. I don't think one looks creamier than the other, but let's give it a taste test. Let's start with the sweet one. Mm. Doesn't really taste that sweet. Actually it tastes pretty darn good. Mmm. Um, yummy. I believe you could use that even in recipes where you didn't want it to be sweet. It's uh, not overbearingly sweet, so you could use it for an all-around milk. Now let's go with the oat, yeah, silk. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely uh, not sweet, but still tasty. It seems like it's got a little more gel and got a little thicker. Well, this one says it's extra creamy, but it's not overdone with a jello milk. So I'm going to take this one more time. Hmm. Yep, you know, it's still very, um, a good milk, but I think I really like this one for my overall cooking and my coffee. With that being said, if you like oat milk, I would say both of these would be good for you. If you're really uh, watching your sugars, go with the Silk Oak Yeah. If you don't mind a little natural sugar and you appreciate a little sweetness. Okay, Donna's going to have to wait. <laughs> and the other thing is this wonderful chocolate pudding. If you want to know how to make it, we would love to share the recipe with you. Just email us and get on the email list or find out about our blogs where Amanda shares all this wonderful stuff because this is... You make this for the kids and don't tell them what's in it. Mmm, mmm. And they'll be asking for more. And get your good fats right here with the avocado. And the secret, in case you're making your own avocado pudding, you're wondering why it has that ugly green tint to it. So we take our chocolate powder and we put 50% of the dark black chocolate with 50% of your regular chocolate. And then that will hide the green tint of avocado but also give you the more healthier choice of chocolate with your regular chocolate. Whereas the dark chocolate's a little more treated, not quite as nutritional, but chocolate is chocolate. We get it wherever we can. Y'all have a great Tuesday. Find a taco tonight. It's Taco Tuesday.